Number 16, predict the sign of the entropy change for the following processes. And then we have this example right here. So we have exhaled breath forms fog on a cold morning. Okay. So we just want to find out what that entropy change is. Now, when we're talking about entropy, entropy, and ent entropy, right, especially when we start doing calculations, entropy is letter S as the variable. But if we want to find out the change in the entropy, we're solving for what that delta S is, right? Is the delta S going to be a positive value, negative, or zero? Well, that comes from what states are going on. As you go from a solid to a liquid to a gas, your change in entropy will be positive because you're going from a state that is less energy to something that is more. You're gaining positive values. But if you're going backwards and you're going to something that is least, you know, entropic or less you know, entropy, your delta S would be a negative value. Let's just see what states we have here. Now, exhaled breath, right? Exhaled breath. What's coming out of our mouth when we breathe, right? Uh, well, you know, there's a couple of things that come out of our mouth, right? There's, you know, CO2. There's, you know, O2, right? So it doesn't really matter what compound we're talking about. But generally, liquid or solid stuff are not coming out of our mouth, right? Breath is a gaseous, you know, thing. What's coming out of our mouth are gas particles. So that's what's comprised of the breath. It's gas. So, I mean, we're starting all the way over here. So you can kind of know which way we're going here. Now, when this creates fog, just know that even though fog kind of looks like a steam, Right. Usually when you, you know, when you go outside and you and you puff, you know, with your breath, it, it forms like a, a cloud smoke. Basically, that's the fog that they're talking about here. But technically, fog is a bunch of water droplets. So since it's water droplets, it's a liquid water is in its liquid form here. And that's what the fog is doing. It's converting into a liquid. So we have something that we started off with gas and we went to a liquid. So we're starting with gas. We're going this way to get to a liquid. So my delta S, the change in entropy, has to be a negative value. That's the sign of it. If you want to say that the delta S just is less than zero, that's fine too, right? But more specifically, it would be a negative value because they did say what that sign was. But that's it. Let's just color this in, give it a little happy blue. <laughs> a little bit of happy blue. Where's that from? Anyway, hopefully this helped. Thank you so much. Keep studying hard. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. I'll be talking to you later. Okay, bye-bye.